Hello and welcome to another episode of 34 Tauri. Today I will be talking about how helium was discovered. In the 1800s, a new instrument called a spectroscope was allowing astronomers to peer into the space in a way they had never been able to. Spectroscopes use a prism to fracture the light from an incoming object into its own unique spectrum of wavelengths of light. By comparing the fractured wavelengths of light from an object against these spectrums, its elemental composition can be determined. In 1868, the French astronomer Pierre-Jules César Janssen used a prism to measure the solar spectrum during a total eclipse in Gunta, India. In the process, he observed a new spectral line at 587.49 nanometers, coming from the sun's chromosphere. At the same time, the English astronomer Joseph Norman Lockyer recorded the same spectral line by observing the sun through London smog. Knowing that the line could not have been made by any known element, he realized he must have found something new. He decided to name the newly discovered element helium after the Greek sun god Helios. Both Janssen and Lockyer sent word of their findings to the French Academy of Sciences, along with their new ways of observing the sun without an eclipse. However, given that the two men's findings confirmed each other, and the similar dates of their observations, it was difficult to award the discovery to just one of the men. So the astronomer Hervé Fay suggested a compromise that both men be awarded the honour instead. But while the element had so far been discovered in the sun, it had not yet been discovered on Earth. That changed in 1882 when the Italian Luigi Palmieri found the same line spectrum in gases emitted by Mount Vesuvius. Seven years later, the American William Hillebrand also detected the line spectrum in gases given off by the mineral uraninite as it was dissolved in acid. The quest to isolate helium on Earth ended in 1895, when the Swedish chemists Per Theodor Cleve and Nils Langlet repeated Hillebrand's experiment. After confirming the gas produced was helium from its spectral lines, they were also able to measure its atomic weight. Anyway, that's all for this video. It was based on articles from the Royal Society of Chemists, Universe Today, JLab Science Education, and the Smithsonian Magazine. I have left links in the description so you can read the articles for yourself. As always, feel free to leave a like, a comment, and or subscribe. Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more content in the future.